Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Let's 3D Model and uh, today um, I was going to show you guys this stove. Um, the funny thing was, is I, like I said, I've been telling you guys I, I warm up at, uh, at, my, at my job or whatever and I start to model and I didn't realize how far along I already got um, with the stove. Now one thing I'm not really happy with right away um, is uh, this handle. This handlebar seems to be a little bit too thin in my opinion. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly f try and fix this if I can. Um, where is my transform? Let's see here. Uh, where is it? Uh, transform. Like, I don't know why I don't have, I, I usually have this as my, um, that's my thing, but. Uh, let's see. So if I go like this, nope, that doesn't do a very good job. Whoa, where'd it go? Um, <clears throat> hold on, like that. Let's see if I can go like this. Yeah, there we go. I just want to make it thicker. I just want to make it a tad bit thicker, you know, because it didn't look like it would hold the weight of the oven, like the oven door. If I was to, like, f fling this open, um, let's see how would I do this stove pieces. Like, if I had this like as the um, stove door, right, and then I um, had it open. Let's see, and I had it open at the corner here. And I had it, like swing open. It just didn't look like it would hold the weight right when it was that really thin one so uh, at least now it looks like it can actually hold the weight of it um, another thing right away uh, that I'm not liking here is the thickness of this like this is thick which is pretty which is good right it should be that thick this is looking pretty thin so I might have to go in here and uh, select Nope, don't want to save. Don't want to save on me. Not yet. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, I'm just going to do that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. And then I'm just going to move this a tad bit back. A tad bit back. There we go. Just going to move it up just a little bit. There. There. Just because, I don't know, it just feels like it's a lot more thicker. And uh, and I think that I'd be a little bit more comfortable with it looking that way, just for the purposes. And again, now if I take, pull this down, it feels like it would actually function properly. Obviously, the inside faces. I mean, we're never going to open the door, but I'm just saying, like functionality-wise, it just didn't seem to make too much sense. Um, but yeah, I just I didn't realize that I had so much of this already done. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to duplicate this, and um, I'm just going to say original. And for this one, I'm going to actually uh, combine it, and I'm just going to call this like that, <laughs> right? And I'm actually gonna put. Oh, I'm actually gonna change the pivot point into the corner, and I'm gonna move this to zero zero zero. I'm gonna hide the. Whoa, what's this one? What's what's this one? Can I delete that? Whoa, nope, cannot. Um, what's this one? Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna hide that. And this was the BSP block in. From um, from Unreal, and so this is that. I'm gonna freeze the transforms. Obviously, I'm gonna automatic UV this and not forget to do that to my assets. Uh, automatic UV. There we go. And so I'm gonna do that to my scene here. I should probably do that to the original. Yeah, I should probably do that to my original. I just do that to my original. So I'm just gonna have it fully select everything. Oh man, I can't. I guess I can't. Can I not do that? Oh 
man. Okay. 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 I'm sorry. My bad. Let me go back. 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 Okay. <laughs> sorry, guys. Uh, so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna automatic UV this. Uh, let's check the UVs here. It should be fine. It should be fine. It should be okay. There we go. Yeah, that should be okay. That should be fine. So I'm gonna export this out now into the scene and source no props stove and bring this into Unreal. Oh, it's gonna say that. And then uh, make sure my snapping is on. That looks good. Go to my props and let's look at my stove here. My stove has like this weird kind of thing going on. Um, hopefully this this is probably gonna cause issues. It's been causing issues for me this whole time. So yeah, it always does this. Why? Why do you do this to me? Okay, so let's see here. So I have it snapped. Snapping to the 10, so it should just be perfect. Uh, delete this little box. There you have it. Now we have that little stove. Look, it looks so cool. It looks so cool. Um, yeah, it looks so cool. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me just knock. Let me. All right. Let me just um, throw this on here. Uh, let's go to my content. Let's uh, go to my materials. And again. Man, this is so annoying. I really need to figure out. I guess it just doesn't like it when I do that with the BSPs. Um, okay. Just gonna go there and just gonna go like that. Okay. Save it. There. I know it's all blue. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I know. Um, so there we go. So now we have that. I really want to create that vent sometime. Um whenever I can why are these I s did I not okay whatever whatever um how, how are these so these are getting ma no materials so what happens if I remove these materials like what if I go to here and I just go to none what the hell just happened okay okay doesn't like that okay whatever um okay so now we have that stove there right uh still need to make a sink here still need to micro make a microwave here and just a random shelf here right to fill up my scene now for this shot here right like let's say this is my shot now this light i understand that it's for this purposes right but it's not really sh being shown in this scene if you guys know what i'm saying um so it might be better strategically to place it so that it's somewhere where it's going to be seen um, or seen more, right? Like what if I have it dangling a little bit more, you know? Um, might be able to see it a little bit more if it's uh, dangling from up here. Um, yeah, over here. I mean... I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to play around with it a little bit more, because right now it's not. It's kind of underwhelming at the moment. It almost seems like you don't even need it there, right? So, um, okay. So the the okay. So I mean, I don't. <sighs> that was just me quickly showing you guys the stove. I don't want that just to be the episode. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start placing some of these around. And um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start placing these around i'm just going to whoop, unselect the snapping and i'm just going to rotate these bad boys there we go and i'm just gonna um kind of place these all over so this is this is what i call reusing okay now this this guy is in my way so i'm just gonna hide him there and I'm just going to duplicate this again and reuse, 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 reusing your assets. See, so now we have that. And then, I mean, in this scene, if you're from this view, you don't even see 
these cabinets so i'm not even gonna bother you know what i mean i'm not even gonna bother putting the cabinets there i'm just gonna focus on what you can see and that is these so i'm just going to pull these up and place this in here All right so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna scale this one up right there we go that looks pretty good that looks pretty good I'm just gonna bring it down and does that look good no don't like it don't like it so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take this one I'm gonna scale this move this up and obviously that's not the goal here so I'm gonna fit I'm gonna rotate it there we go and then I'm gonna move this forward there right move it forward just like that and that should work i'm gonna scale it oh 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 oh, oh. let's see uh, does that work does that work did that work oh my god did that work? yeah that looks like that works pretty good so i'm just going to put it like that right then i'm gonna scale this here and this doesn't work obviously so we can scale it down just scale like that set the scale set the scale grid snap value okay that's cool that's cool and i'm just going to move it slightly off like that and then I can probably reuse this. So I'm just going to reuse this. I'm just going to rotate it. And, oh, there. That should be better. And this needs to be scaled a little bit, I think. So I'm just going to scale it. Nope. Let's see if I can scale this uh, of one. Oh, no, that's too big. It's too big. Too big. Let's go. Okay, so that's not going to work either. Um, hmm. Will it work? It looks like it should work. Let's see here. If I just do this correctly. Let's see. It almost works. It almost works. It's a little bit too tight. It's a little bit too tight. Okay, so let's see here. So these are these actually like? Let me hold on. <laughs> I'm curious. I'm curious here. I'm going to my side view, and yeah, I mean like these are lined up pretty good. These are lined up pretty good. Um, but those ones are not. So I'm trying to think here. How do I make this fit? If I rotate it like that, 90 degrees. Let me move it here. It's definitely not going to fit. Hmm. Be strategic here. So right now we have the cabinets here, the cabinets here. How is this? How do we make this work? I mean, maybe I can use the. Uh, no, that's not going to work either. Okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe it's gonna be okay. Maybe it's gonna be okay. Maybe it's just a little box. Uh, maybe I have to make a custom, a custom one, right? It's very, very possible. Obviously, we don't want to create more assets than we than we need, but sometimes it's just the way it is, right? So, um, okay. So for now, I'm just going to quickly render this because now we have a bunch more new assets in here with. Uh, with the stove as well so we'll go and we'll do that uh, episode 107 seems to be running into some issues it looks like f while I'm uploading here um, so I don't really know what's going on with 107 uh, it's taking a while for it to 
upload. Okay, so now I'm just going to apply the lighting here. So that's with the new lighting. It's looking pretty cool, actually. Um, but yeah, uh, so this I guess this episode I just kind of placed it more uh, little cabinets around. Um, and uh, I'll see what I want to do with the next episode. I mean, I'm looking at this right now, and I mean, I might not even need to put a sink here. I mean, you can barely see that counter spot. Um, so I might just go in and I might start modeling just the, uh, the windows, the windows and the microwave and, and the shelf here, uh, maybe a little floor mat and, uh, the vent for here. And you know, that, that might be it, man. I'm, that might be kind of like the finishing touches to this scene. Um, but. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode.